The Brown Derby was a chain of restaurants in Los Angeles, California from 1926 until the 1980s. Welcome to Eric C Productions. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, please hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you get notified of my latest video that are posted during the week. Be sure to hit that like button and leave a suggestion or a comment. You might see that video in a future posting. Thanks for watching and now back to the program. What can I tell you about the Gervis Brown Derby? You know good food when you taste it. You know low prices when you see them. Don't you? I don't know how they do it, but they do it. I don't know how they do it, but they do it. <laughs> I don't know how they do it, but they do it. Brown Derby does it with broiled Boston scraw, just $3.95. It's served sizzling with a fabulous super salad table, choice of potato, and French-Italian bread. The chain was started by Robert H. Cobb and Herbert K. Somborn, the former husband of film star Gloria Swanson in the 1920s. The first restaurant was opened in February of 1926 at 3427 Wilshire Boulevard in a building built in the distinctive shape of a derby hat. Whimsical architecture was in vogue at the time and the restaurant was designed to catch the eye of passing motorists. The Brown Derby name originated from Malvern, New York-based restaurant of the same name that had been a hangout for vaudevillians in the 1920s. It was founded by Wilson Minsner as a small cafe across the street from the Hollywood hotspot, the Cocoa Nut Grove, at the Ambassador Hotel. There were three men who were responsible for the Brown Derby. Wilson was the front man. Herbert K. Somborn owned the property and Jack L. Warner put up the money. Wilson Minsner sat in booth 50 almost every day. Unfortunately, the original restaurant was small and suffered from acoustic problems in which the sound from one end of the building bounced off the semicircular ceiling and traveled to the other side of the room. Due to the Wilshire restaurant's po popularity among the Hollywood set, the Brown Derby opened its second location in 1929 on Valentine's Day at 1628 North Vine Street, just south of the famous Hollywood and Vine intersection. It did not feature the same derby hat design, but instead followed a Spanish mission architectural style favored by movie mogul Cecil B. DeMille. Because many of the film studios were nearby, it became even more popular among prominent Hollywood figures. Movie fans sent mail to the stars simply addressed to the Brown Derby, Hollywood and Vine. The walls came to be lined with drawings and caricatures of celebrities. In 1937, the Wilshire Restaurant building was moved about a block east to the northeast corner of Wilshire Boulevard and Alexandria Avenue. Like its Wilshire Boulevard counterpart, it was the home of hundreds of celebrity drawings, paintings, and caricatures. Jack Lane drew many of these caricatures between 1947 and 1985. Another artist whose work was displayed was Nicholas Volpe. He was commissioned by the Brown Derby to paint portraits of up to 200 top recording artists to be displayed in the restaurant's Hall of Fame record room. In addition, his Oscar-winning star portraits were displayed in the restaurant's Academy Room, created for showing Volpe's art. Apart from the gimmick of the name and pretty good food, they had two things going for them. One was the Cobb salad, which was invented at the Brown Derby, which was owned by the Cobb family. As the delicacy caught on in other eateries, there was much publicity as to where it had begun and many people wanted to go and try the original. Many people also wanted to dine where the stars ate. And that was an even better reason to dine at the Derby. According to Shirley Temple, the non-alcoholic drink bearing her name was invented at the Brown Derby in the mid-1930s. Temple herself never liked the drink and noted her personality rights had been used without her permission. The Brown Derby near Hollywood and Vine was situated in an area from which many network radio shows were broadcast, so stars were always eating there. 
It was not uncommon for the cast of a program to do a performance for the East Coast, then repair to the Derby for food and libation before returning to the studio for the West Coast transmission. This caused the Brown Derby to be mentioned often on their shows. There were four main locations, the one on Wilshire, one in Hollywood, one in Beverly Hills, and the other one on Los Feliz. The Brown Derby was also featured in several shows including You Bet Your Life and I Love Lucy. In 1947, fun and fancy free Mickey and the Beanstalk, the cartoon ends with Willie the Giant stomping through Hollywood looking for Mickey Mouse. Before the scene closes, Willie noses the Brown Derby restaurant and picks up the restaurant looking for Mickey. Eventually though, business declined and the Brown Derbies began closing down. Some former patrons recall being impressed with the history, but unimpressed with the food, and somewhat bothered by the service. The hosts and the waiters fawned over everyone who walked in the door like they were royalty and it seemed awfully antiquated and phony. In any case, it was no longer the kind of place where Groucho and Bill Holden might drop by for a bite, so its main attraction was gone. In September of 1980, the restaurant closed without warning. The Beverly Hills Brown Derby closed in 1982 and was demolished shortly thereafter. The Los Feliz location opened in 1941 was closed in 1960. The building was the last of the four to survive. In 1985, the Hollywood Brown Derby closed for earthquake retrofitting but never reopened due to a devastating 1987 fire. Almost everything was destroyed. A fragment of the original restaurant was incorporated in a building renovation for the premieres of Hollywood restaurant during the early 1990s, but that was also destroyed during the 1992 Los Angeles riots. After the last one closed in 1995, there had been several attempts to open other restaurants in the Brown Derby name, notably in Palm Springs and the Beverly Center. Those closed down in less than a year. The Brown Derby began a licensing program in 1987 with an agreement with the Walt Disney Company for a replica of the original Ho um, Hollywood Brown Derby restaurant at the new Disney MGM Studios in Lake Buena Vista, Florida. In 1990, the Walt Disney Company entered into three additional agreements for the Walt Disney Movie Studios at Disneyland Resort Paris, Tokyo Disney Sea at Tokyo Disney Resort, and Disney's California Adventure Park at Disneyland Resort in Anaheim, California. Hey, if you just watched my video, thanks for watching. Hit that like button and please subscribe to Eric C. Productions.